Hello and welcome to News Today on KBS World. It's Friday, March 24th. I'm Luke Claren. Efforts to lift the sunken Sewol ferry continue into the third straight day. The next challenge facing the engineers is loading the ferry onto a semi-submersible ship, which is expected to be just as difficult as lifting the ferry from the sea in the first place. The semi-submersible ship measures 216 meters in length and is double the size of a football field. The ship has been docked in relatively calm waters about one kilometer away from the site of the Sewell tragedy. After the Sewell ferry is lifted from the water and attached to two jacking barges, it will be transported to the semi-submersible ship. But the transportation process is expected to be extremely difficult. First of all, the two barges and the Sewell ferry must be perfectly in sync. That's because they must move toward the semi-submersible ship at very low speed. Weather conditions will also determine the success of the operation. Even if the Sewol ferry is firmly fixed to the barges, it may sink again even before being loaded onto the semi-submersible ship if the sea waves become too high all of a sudden or if strong wind begins to blow. Loading the ferry onto the semi-submersible ship will require utmost technique due to a lack of space. After the ferry is transported to the semi-submersible ship and released from the barges, it will likely take at least four days to prepare for transport to Mokpo New Port.